before I even started the Tinkerbell project, as in the CAD work and cutting out the laser cut parts, I made this local build trolley uh, to aid me moving it around the workshop uh, in, the, in the other side where the garage is storing. And I never thought how I would be lifting it on and off. And uh, a chap on the Facebook group, uses, he uses an engine hoist to move the bigger parts around. And I thought, that's a great idea. So we got myself an engine crane. And when I dry assembled the, the frames and I tried to lift them up, I couldn't get the, the engine crane underneath because my trolley was too low. So today I'm going to modify the trolley. I'm going to cut the plates off where the wheels are attached. I've got myself some 60 by 30 box section and I'm going to put those between the plate and the frame of the trolley to raise it up 60 mil. And that should be sufficient for us to uh, get the engine crane under. Right, so we've got all the plates cut off. I've dressed all the edges, taken all the old welds off. I've taken the welds off the frame. So now it's just a case of... Have a brew. Maybe I should get the welder. I know, I'll get it in a minute. Ah, good cup of tea, that. Ah, shame there were no biscuits. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to tack the box sections to the plate, weld them up before we put them on the frame. I think that's going to be the easiest, easiest option. So, watch your eyes, this might get bright. Done. Now, as you just saw me blind tacking, don't do that at home. It's not safe, it's not clever. Unfortunately, I've been welding that long, it's just force of habit. Luckily for me, touch wood, I've never got, I've never got archive from it. So don't do it. Now, Let's weld these up. I'll get me helmet. Right, I've got the helmet. I've got my anti-spatter. 
let's get these welded. setting that huh? right I'll just I'll just weld weld the ends up wait for them to cool a little and then we'll get them on the frame So I've got the trolley upside down. I've got one of the feet ready to tack. I've just a couple of magnets each side holding it in place. I've got this side tacked together. I've got the other side tacked. I'll get this end welded, finished off, spin it around the other side. And then we'll see what's next. Go! Right, that's that done. They're on, they're secure, they're not going to fall off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a quick clean with a sander and then give it a bit of paint because I've noticed since I've built it, it's getting a little bit of surface rust on. Uh, and yeah, I just want it to look a bit nicer. So I'll slap a bit of black paint on. Let's go. So we got the frame, it's here in the garage, uh, I'm going to slap a bit of black paint on it by Mr Hammerite, we're going to use Mr Roller, now if you're like me and you always work on a budget and you don't like cleaning out the plastic trays, a little tip for you, wrap it in cling, cling film, go around a couple of times and you don't have to clean it out. Jobs are good and let's get this thing painted. Hooray! I hate painting. So here we are, 
the trolley is finally finished. Yes, we can start building a steam engine on it. Right, I've done loads to it. Let's get it outside, get some good shots of it, so you can see what I've done. Here's my lovely shelf, bit of an overkill, I had a bit of spare wood left over, I thought why not give it a bit of a, a bit of treatment, give it a little bit of an oak dye and then some lovely satin varnish over the top to give it a little bit of protection, shame to get it dirty. Right here's the handle, it's a completely detachable feature, the idea being that in the future I'm going to make a, a bridge to go in the back of a van or a, a ramp to get it down, get the locomotive down off the trolley which connects to the angles which you can just see at the top and the ones at the bottom. Right, let's see if we can get this engine crane underneath. Oh, look at that, perfect. Absolutely perfect. There's a good 10-15mm clearance underneath so we should have no, no bother being able to lift things up. Right, so there we go, the trolley, it's finished. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm loving the fact that we've got a little bit of storage underneath. I can get all these little parts for the steam engine project build into some nice boxes, stored away underneath, out of the way. They're not gonna get lost, they're not gonna get damaged. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward now to getting the engine built. So, on that note, like, subscribe, all that shenanigans, Laters.